This video will show you how to translate the FISH CO1 gene nucleotide sequence to amino acids. We'll be using the XPACI Translate tool provided by the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. I've provided the link to this tool in your lab handout and below the video. First, open the FASTA sequence file that you saved from MEGA. You can do this in Notepad or any text editor. Open a new browser window and navigate to the online XPACI tool. Now copy and paste the nucleotide sequence from your FASTA file into the DNA or RNA sequence window in the XPACI tool. Leave the default selection of Compact View and select only the forward DNA strands by checking the box. Make sure that under Genetic Code you choose Vertebrate Mitochondrial because remember this is a mitochondrial gene. Now click Translate. You should end up with three translations corresponding to all three potential reading frames. You should be immediately able to see which frame is the correct one because it will have the longest continuous reading frame highlighted in red. If your sequence is poor or contains a lot of ends, you might have more trouble with this. In that case, one thing you can do is compare the translated sequence to the reference human barcode region protein sequence that's provided on Canvas to help you to identify which frame is the correct frame. Something else that can help you identify the correct reading frame is to look for characteristic, conserved, and very recognizable amino acid sequences we expect to see in the CO1 protein. For example, here we see a string of L's corresponding to the amino acid leucine. There's another characteristic sequence upstream of that that always jumps out at me because it almost looks like Israel, right here. I-R-A-E-L for isoleucine, arginine, alanine, glutamic acid, and leucine. See if you can find those in your sequence to help you identify the correct reading frame. Now click on the first one letter amino acid code in that correct reading frame. And this should bring up your translated protein sequence in FASTA format. Copy and paste that amino acid sequence to a new text file on your computer using Notepad or a similar text editing program. And save it to your computer. Now you're ready to move on to the rest of the analysis.